Hello you, welcome back. Today we are playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We met up with M. Bryson, who is the daughter of Dr. Bryson, who was actually brutally murdered, maybe by Leviathan, but most likely by Leviathan, and we still have to find Leviathan. <laughs> so if you're ready and up for that, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. I mean, come on! And let's get into it. Phew! Hello you and welcome back to the playthrough. So like I mentioned, we met up with Anne Bryson. I'm gonna do a quick roundabout on the ship and see what we got here because probably a couple of people want to talk to me. Is Dr. Bryson actually on board with me? And no, I don't know. Let me check out the journal, actually, before we do that. Yes, Leviathan. Oh, we go back to the Citadel. And Bryson offers the only chance to track down Leviathan. Meet her on the Citadel and gain her help. Oh, so she's probably at the lab. I think she mentioned that, yeah. Let me see if we got mail. Probably not, because I'm a loser. God, I'm a loser. <laughs> All right, Samantha. Commander. Alright, oh, oh, I got no friends. I don't know, who's happy that spring is coming up? At least when you're not in Australia or anything like that. Who's happy that spring is coming up? Because I've been in hibernation and I'm feeling a little bit down. It's like the winter blues. I'm not sure if I can call it a depression, <laughs> but it feels like it. But I'm just so glad the sun is coming up and I really just need to go more outside. I think that's gonna really help me. I need to touch some grass, but oh, I'm so happy that spring is coming because I, I need it to be spring. Mm -hmm. I'm a summer girl. I, I am a summer girl. I thrive in summer. Hi. Commander. Okay, you don't thrive at all. I'm sorry, that was really unnecessarily mean. I'm a little bit sensitive because she didn't, you didn't really nicely greet me, okay? That's, that's on me, that's on me. I have formulated a psych profile for Dr. Anne Bryson. All right. She is not used to death, but she may be quite capable under stress. <laughs> She's not used to death, Edie. Not a lot of people should be, but here I am. Here I am. Okay, well, no wonder I'm depressed. <laughs> How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass-free space we create when we travel at FTL limits any impact of micro-collisions with ambient dust. Nevertheless, some ablation does occur at subluminal speeds. Normandy will need maintenance before the year is out. If uh, I live that long, I will totally spring. Free. Right. Absolutely. But I'll probably be dead in a month. <laughs> oh, God, I hope not. Okay, well, I don't think a lot of people want to talk to me, to be honest. But I'm going to try anyway. <laughs> I'm going to mess with them. I'm going to bother them. And hopefully uh, they'll be bothered enough that they'll actually talk to me for once. <laughs> Oh, my God, Jane, Morden. Okay, be normal. Uh, oh, oh, salute, salute me, salute me. Thank you. All right, I don't think anyone is here. Now, I kind of miss that people were always, always sitting here talking pretty much every time you went in. Now it just was Dr. Chocolate, maybe with Adams, but that's pretty much it. All right, hey, Caden. So a Reaper goes rogue and kills one of its own. And that's what we're looking at here, right? It's Bryce most likely so. On to something big. Amazing. Yeah, it is pretty. A lot pretty. of smart people in this galaxy. I'm a lucky guy to work with so many of them. I like that, Caden. That's good thinking. I mean, he's not envious about it. He's just like, okay, I have got proper intelligence, but there's just so many smart people and I'm honored to work with them. If you're not the smartest people in the room, just hire them. <laughs> But no, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, to me, it's always very interesting to talk to people that are that are on the same intellectual level or even higher. So obviously, so you can learn from them and hopefully acquire some new knowledge, too. Hey, Shepard. Hey, Caden. I like that, Caden. I appreciate that. That was good. Good talk. Yeah, look at me simping for Caden. <laughs> All right, let's see. Dr. Chocolates, I doubt she talks to me much now, but we, we can try. How are you, Commander? Um, shit. Winter blues and everything, Doc. You got anything for that? Therapy, maybe? <laughs> what I wanted to say is I kind of still miss Morden here. Bickering a little bit with Eve. Well, not bickering, just sweet, kind, singing, joking. Oh, man. Morden was the greatest, wasn't he? 
It's sad he had to go. Why do the best people always go? If they take Garrus, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I, I, I will rage quit the game. No way. Hey. Shepard, I, I admit I was worried about you on that dig site. Things got pretty hectic. Not used to feeling like that, you know. That's what love does. Ah! A guy like me into a nervous wreck with something to lose and the aim to make sure he doesn't. Nobody better hurt you. That's all I'm saying. Nobody better hurt you. Oh no, that's romantic novel shit. I can't deal with that. It's the same thing when the villain, it's the same thing when the villain goes up to the love interest and the hero is all hurt and he goes, who did this to you? <laughs> okay, shit, fuck, didn't expect that. Makes a guy like me into a nervous wreck. Oh, that's what love does, I'm fine. Oh shit, Jesus, don't hit me that early in the morning with that, woohoo! <sighs> Am I okay? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that did something. Oh, that did, oh my god. Another time, maybe. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that first line, that, that was, that was more than enough, thank you. My mascara is already running. <laughs> oh no. Why does he put the bar so fucking high? I'm never gonna find love. Oh my god. No. This is so sad. Because nobody's gonna live up to Garrus. Oh, now I'm a giggly mess. Nobody better hurt you. <laughs> I'm fine. I promise. Just give me a second, okay? Just, just give me a second. He did the thing! He said the thing! Oh my god, I love him. I love him. I want to have his babies. I know it's not possible, but I want it! <laughs> At your service. Thank you. I'm sorry, I, I, I need to calm down. Hello, Liera. Is it with you and rescuing scientists from dig sites that have been overrun by hostile forces? Why are you jealous? <laughs> take down the shadow broker. I'm going to be jealous. I knew it! And somewhat concerned. I knew it! I felt it! I felt it! I know you too well, lady! Knew she was gonna be jealous. Alright, anything? No. Hello again. Okay, hello again. Sure. Anything? No. Alright, I'm thinking we're gonna go to the Citadel. But let me just go to engineering and the shuttle bay. Let's see. Poor Garrus, you can't throw that on a girl like that, my god. And expect her to, <laughs> to record even more than an hour left. Come on now, you can't do that. All right, let's see what the Alpha has to say. Nobody ever hurt you. <laughs> Fine. If Leviathan is a defector, a reaper that broke away from the others, then it is also a traitor. And traitors are never to be trusted, even among the enemy. All if right. They their own kind. Imagine what they can do to you. That is a very good point, but I believe he just has a code of his own. And that might not align with ours, and I completely don't trust Leviathan, so you'd be right about that for once. But, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> if you require a mate, please look elsewhere. Whoa! Where did that- Where the fuck did that come from? Yavik, thank you. Well, not thank you, because you said to require elsewhere, but, um, you're, you're really not that high on my list. I, I don't want to offend. I mean, I like you, I kind of like your humor, but that's about it. <laughs> I already got a mage. If anyone hurts me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where the fuck did it come from? Is that, am I, am I doing a courting dance or something every time I do a circle? Does that attract Protheans? Like, oh, 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 and he's like, oh no, she's peacocking again. <laughs> Very impressive. I'm hyper again. The last two episodes, I've noticed that I've just been very woohoo. Well, better than the being depressed, right? <laughs> God. Commander. Hey. Tower grid is in the green. In the green. Nothing to report, Commander. Okay, Kuli Yuri, thank you so freaking much. Let's go. I'm thinking maybe it's because I had a rough week with YouTube as well last week with the Last of Us finale and I'm bummed about that because the views are low now and it was such... 
if you know, you know. If you saw the video, it's just been a rough week. Also, dealing with YouTube, it's like... It's been... It's been annoying. Let me just say that. So if you want to support me, because YouTube has been very, very unwelcoming lately, um, here's my Patreon. That would really help me out. If you have the means, that would be amazing. If you don't, that's fine too. Leave a fucking big like on the video. That cheers me up. Anyway, let's see. If another harvester keeps me from dropping you off on a Target LZ, so help me. That's the bond. <laughs> don't let those oversized roaches push you around. <laughs> okay, you're taking on a sky full of worm necks and a troop transport is like sending you against the earth invasion armed with brass knuckles. Wow. Well, you don't think I could do it? <laughs> well, nobody said that, but he's always so worried about me. <laughs> oh, I I love him so freaking much. All the boys that I care about are so cute. Everything okay, Shepard? Yes, everything is more than okay now that you are here. Uh, I just need my best friend Cortez and then I'm happy. I'm so in love with Cortez, but platonically, it's just, oh my god. I just wanna, <laughs> I just wanna wrap him up in a big old blanket and give him cuddles. Maybe some chocolate chip. I, I don't know. I love him. Hey. I don't know the scientific measurement of a shitload. But that seemed like a shitload of harvesters. Yeah, it was a shitload. Big, big, big shitload. I mean, uh, Cortez was completely right. Do you hear that hum? No, Is stop it. Me? No, stop it. No, no, I don't hear the hum. I do hear the hum. Is it just the engine, what you're referring to? Oh, please, let's let it be the engine. Let it be the engine, not Leviathan or the Reapers. Hey, Sophie. Mwah. All right, so we are ready. No, no, that's not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted or needed. No. All right, let me just feed my fish. Let me just say hi to the fish. Hi. Hello, cutie patooties. Oh, my God. And there's my little skippy. A big smooch. Go on. Yes. 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 Okay, let's go. Now I'm finally ready to go to the Citadel, speak with Dr. Bryson and Bryson, and hopefully finally find a lead to Leviathan. The DLC is quite big. I have to admit, I quite enjoy it. <laughs> Here, oh, that one is not 100% complete. I see you, Mass Relay. You'll be mine. You'll be mine. Okay, let's see. Do you come from, why do you have that song in my head? Well, don't ask. It's all, no. I always have sounds in my head. Okay, fuck. You serious? You know how small this system is? Oh, fuck you. Okay, great. Okay. Evasion successful. Yeah, thank you, Edie, but give me a fucking second. I don't even need this because I'm going to the Citadel anyway. Fine. I'll take it. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Booyah! You looted. You looted. Yeah, we sure did. Okay, so of course we still have that, but we're not gonna go there yet. We are going back to Bryson. Ah, <sighs> all right. Gotta admit, still miss Citadel Ma in Mass Effect 1. That's the best Citadel. I was hoping Mass Effect 3 would be the same thing. And in the beginning I thought like, oh my God, Magic of the Citadel is back, but now I'm like, no, it's still not the same. Mass Effect 1 is still my favorite. I don't know why that is. It's probably an unpopular opinion. I am just obsessed with Mass Effect 1 and I kind of want to replay it for myself right now, but I can't because I'm still, of course, figuring out Mass Effect 3, which is also a very interesting story. It's just Mass Effect 1 had such great world building. Everything was new. Everything was exciting. I, it had something magical to it, but that's just me. Hey, Nessie. All right, Anne. Are you drawing, Anne? Hello. Anne, you here? Is she crying? Oh yeah, fuck. Anne, come on, you're like 80 years old. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course it's sad to lose a parent. Oh, Commander. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Now shut up! <laughs> I'm so sorry. It is hard. Losing your dad, she just found out, and now she's in the middle of his lab with all of their things. His things. Pictures. Old drawings she made for him. I get that it's hard. 
I don't want to think about that. Okay, how are you doing? Apparently you're not doing too great. What can we do? Of course. You all right? Yes. No. Mm. I don't know. That's always the easiest mm. thing to say. My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. I'm sorry. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. It's so stupid. That happens. It's life. It's called life and it's not always fair. And you argue and you don't mean things you take out. You take your issues out on the people that are closest to you, the people you love. Which is not fair. But the thing that struck me the most is like, when people are asked if they are all right, the first thing to always say that's the easiest is just to say yes. Because it's almost expected for everyone just to be fine and dandy all of the freaking time. But that's just impossible. We're human. We're gonna have bad days, weeks, months, years even. And that's okay too. And I feel like people should be allowed to say that more. If they're not all right, then you're not all right. And that is very valid. Anyway, I don't want to intrude, but I also want to comfort her. That's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Shepard is so sweet. Seeing all this again? He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. Not crazy, I apparently. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. <sighs> he was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. Oh, wow. I was angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. <sighs> but sometimes... He was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. Sometimes you can absolutely love your parents, but you just don't like them that much. Which is kind of sad, but I hear it in a lot of cases. <laughs> I say like I am a freaking therapist by cases. People around me, people I know, in some regard me. Anyway, you're the key to this. Get angry. You are the key to this. You are the only lead we have to Leviathan. And this could mean a lot for the galaxy, for a lot of other people. We need you. We need your help. You're our last chance. Mm-hmm. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Thank you. I appreciate that. Anne. You sure you're up for this? Yes. Good. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. Well, fuck. Don't make me cry. Jesus. Never be afraid of the dark. Embrace it. Embrace your villainous nature! I'm kidding! It's a very intriguing moment. Parental and child relationships. Oh man. I can go on about that for hours. But I won't. Not right now. Anyway, let's see. Can we find anything? in the lab before we talk to Anne. The music is, is kind of sad, making me a little bit, a little bit, ooh, a little bit emotional, making me tear up a little bit. That's fine. It's <laughs> not like I cried enough in this playthrough, no. Ah! Hand. Jesus Christ, you scared, where did you come from? <laughs> you scared the fucking bejesus out of me. What are you doing here? And please, the, the head is very interested in your back muscles, and I can't say that I am blaming him. Nope. I mean, I get it, Husky. I get it. Okay, so what are you doing here? What 
brings you down here, James? Yeah. Heard you're closing in on the Reaper killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has Watch to be worth a look. That's what I'm hoping. Please don't. <laughs> He's gonna bite you, man. Whoa! What are you do? What? What are you doing? What the fuck? <laughs> I thought he was gonna smooch him. I was like, oh, he's such a cute boy. Mwah. What the fuck are you doing, James? Ah, stop! Commander, you see this thing? Yeah. This is great. Is it? What are you? Are you gonna stop trying to smooch him, James? <laughs> I keep thinking he's leaning over, like, oh, good boy. Mwah. All right. Ah! Okay, you got enough of your smooches, hey, James. Edie, husk bites, they don't turn you into a husk or anything, right? <laughs> what, like a zombie? Oh, you apply metagel. oh dear gosh. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. I don't want a loss of a situation here either. I mean, we got a enough to worry about. Oh, jeez. What is he? What the hell? Stop trying to smooch the husk. <laughs> He's even more of a freak than I am. <laughs> All right, and what's up? I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. That's great. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. Mm. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Yeah. Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the queen. Interesting. That's the same, like I mentioned, the Ragnar Queen uses a lot of people for their benefit too, and the Reapers do as well. I feel like that's an interesting connection, that they sort of share the same power, the Ragnar Queen and the Reapers. I don't think there's actual a connection there, but perhaps it's just a very interesting coincidence? I don't know. Let's try and talk to her. You studied the Ragnar? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now it might actually help us understand Leviathan. Let's see. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, mm -hmm. but there's really no such thing. At short range, the queen uses pheromones to give orders. Really? At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. So there is that connection between the Ragnar and Leviathan, at least. Ah, intriguing. See, that's what I like. I theorize, and sometimes I'm right, and sometimes I am way off. Hey, you're still here? Hey, if nobody claims this thing, we could take it with us. What? You know, for research or... You... I don't know, whatever. Is this one of your kinks? Is this one of your kinks? Because I'm kind of... Okay, I don't want to kink shame, but I'm not really here for it. Oh, what? Oh, no. I... What? It's gonna go in my cabin? James wants it, not me. Fine, I feel sad if we're gonna leave it, because it's gonna be here, and it's probably not gonna take care of it. Oh, great. Now I have another pet. I have my fish to take care of, I got my little skipper, skipper hamster, and now I got a freaking husk. Oh, you know what? Not the weirdest thing I collected. Let's go. All right. Just don't tell anybody. Oh my god! Nice. <laughs> Stop! You think we... Esteban will let me set up bowling pins in the cargo bay? What? No! <laughs> what are you trying? No! You can't use the head for it. Oh, James! What the hell? Okay, let's see. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact, but the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. Mm -hmm. My theory is that most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Yeah. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. Ha! Huh. It and my father Pick and choose. Oh. He said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes. But this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi QEC effect. Mm. And that can be traced. Oh! But just like at the dig site, the Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My there father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. 
He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. But he showed up. He'd have hated dying here. Oh, but he did. He did. And I know this is hard. But if there's anything more you can tell us. I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. All right, I'll take what it. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. Mm-hmm. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. Oh, well, if you're up for it, <laughs> I mean, it's worth a shot. It is too risky. But what if she actually goes a little bit loco? Let's use James's words for it. What if she goes loco and tries to harm anybody here in the lab? If you come for Edie, madam, we're going to have an issue. It's kind of risky, but I feel like it's the only thing that we still have left it's like the only trick up our sleeve that we have left. So yeah, you know what? Sure, get get indoctrinated. You know that's fine. That's fine. That's probably not gonna <laughs> not gonna be an issue. I don't like it, but we're out of options. Mm -hmm. You know better than I do what Leviathan's capable of when threatened. I know it's a long shot, but I have to do this. Off you go. <laughs> You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. All right. I well. still don't know what we're looking for. <laughs> Then let's find out. Okay, she's passionate. I like that. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. What are you even doing here? <laughs> Honestly. Noted. Edie. Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. Hmm. Is this some sort of setup for James? I, I just find it curious why he's suddenly here, so he's got to have to... Uh, cat hair. So he's got to have a bigger part to play in all of this, right? Or why else show him here, let him show up in the lab? You don't have to do this. All right, let me just give her an out one more time. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. James, what the? I'm going to be right here. Okay. I'm ready. Our day. James, drop the containment shield. Our shield day. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. James! <laughs> I feel a chill. Oh dear. Edie? No trace yet. Oh Jesus Christ! Hell. Holy Signal fuck! Tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. Oh! The darkness can't be breached. Well, whoa, whoa. Look who's decided to show up. Listen to me. I found you, and the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. <laughs> I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Oh, great. Do we have enough? Partial Come on. Lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. All right. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. No, James. Nay. Delay that, Lieutenant. Ooh. Signal is fading. Maintain connection. We can fight them. We can win this. The cycle cannot be broken. You're wrong. Focusing the point of origin. Maintain connection to narrow the search. Ooh, this might be bad. Maybe I should have let her go. No, okay, fine, 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 fine. Jeez, look at her. I kind of wanted to go mm, further, maintain the connection. God damn it. But I didn't want her to die or anything. Are you okay? Anne, Anne, are you all right? Uh, I'm not sure. It hurts. Shit. It'll be okay. You did great. Edie, did we get anything? Please. Anything. Yes, Shepard. Ah! But it will take time to search. That's fine. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. All right. We this got a little. Be worth it. Agreed, Lieutenant. Anything else, Anne? It was dark. Cold. I can tell you this much. Leviathan is angry. Yeah, I figured it knows that. We're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Well, he has Come to on. get in line. Let's get you some help. Everybody wants to kill me. You think that impresses me? 
<laughs> Get in line, sucker. Couldn't kill me if you tried for a thousand years, bitch. All right, so we got two leads. Can we talk to Edie? No. Okay, well, I kind of wanted to maintain the connection a little bit further because it was really interesting, but I don't want anybody to suffer for it. But I'm always complaining or arguing about the fact that scientific people always seem to use so many people, victims, research objects for their own vein. And if I go on, I am no better than Dr. Archer who did all of that to David. And I really want to be careful that I don't that I don't lose sight of that in the pursuit of knowledge. I feel like that is very important. I mean, you could argue, of course, that there's a lot on the line here and it's not just any experiment. We need Leviathan to face the Reapers and we are running out of options. So of course I had a good reason for maintaining the connection, but couldn't go through with it. No, I, I didn't like to see her get hurt. Nope, nope, nope. Every time I try to be fucking renegade, it bites me in the ass. Well, it doesn't bite me in the ass, but my heart just, my heart can't take it. I don't want to be, I can be mean, but just not to people who don't deserve it. Okay, I think that's that. Shall we go? Let me check. Scan locations. Edie has marked possible locations for Leviathan on the galaxy map. Scan the locations and find Leviathan. That we shall do. Okay, so at least I got a little bit of a narrowing down. So it won't be too hard. Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> who the no who the who knows? Who knows? Who in the knows? Right, well that was fun. Why was James there though? Because he seemed to be really up in personal. My cats are fighting. <laughs> Up and personal with Dr. Bryson. Does he know her? Are they like, Ooh. no? Because I'm right here and he was hovering very close. If, if they're not in an intimate relationship, I would be very uncomfortable if that happened. Like, um, James, James, give her a little bit of space. Okay, I know you want to hold her back, but, but mm, personal space? No, nope. okay. So they got it though, right? They got it. All right, well, okay, okay, okay. I, don't think. Yeah, we're gonna scan the planets or the systems, see if anything is happening there. James is sweet. I just didn't really quite understand what's going on there. Guess we'll find out. Okay, anyway, but why? <laughs> I just didn't understand what he was doing in the lab in the first place. But if he has an intimate connection with Anne, that would make sense. He just wanted to check up on her. Okay, scan for Leviathan. Do we have more? What's this? Is there just one system? Did I do fucking well? Okay. Okay, let's just scan for Leviathan here then. Okay, we got the core scan for Leviathan. So it's not, it's quite narrowed down then. It's not too bad. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, so maybe Mill was actually the part that if I didn't use the interrupt, the renegade interrupt, I would have had to scan there too. But I'm gonna go there anyway, because <laughs> I want to see if there's any resources there. Whoop. Because why not, you know? Why the fuck not? Alright, fuck that. Guess not. Signal confirmed. Hey, would you look at that? What's this? Charcos. Scan. Let's see. What's this? What's this? See, this is what I mean. War acid acquired. Let's go. Okay, so that's 100%. We are gonna go to any of these systems. Let me start with Lenol, because it's the closest. <laughs> Whoop, all right, good. Kind of hoping he's not here so I can scan I the other. Something. Hey, okay, great. Yeah, yeah, you relax. So I can scan the other system as well. And don't have to go back. Don't let him be here. Yes! Okay, good. <laughs> Normally you'd be happy or you'd be upset that the search was unsuccessful, but I am happy. No I can... Sign of Leviathan at these coordinates. I get it. So this is probably not the system I need to be in, but maybe there's war assets. Maybe there's war assets. Let's go. Yes. OK, 
Okay, there you go. Dextro rations. Works for me. And now we are off to that other system because Leviathan is most likely to be there. And if he's not, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> then we quit the game. Then we don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, I might make it. Ooh, yes, bitch. All right, so Leviathan, are you still mad at me? Do you wish to kill me? Well, here I am. Signal confirmed. Are you here? That's a pretty ass planet. I think he's here. My senses are tingling. Are you here? Or is this. Whoa! I knew it! Scans reveal a faint trace of Leviathan's energy signature. Closer examination required for complete. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Good, but okay, so that's all we can do here, so we're gonna land. <sighs> Let's go. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, Garrus and Edie, let's go. Let's go. I mean, I've been with this crew, with this squad for the entire DLC. Let's just finish it. I think this is the last mission, but I wouldn't know. Okay, can't do anything there. Let's see. I'm curious about Leviathan, though. If he's actually a rogue reaper, then poof. I mean, why would he go rogue in the first place? What happened? Did they have a falling out? Is he the black sheep of the family? I, I mean, you're kind of making me root for him then. <laughs> Love me a good villain. Tez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Okay. Heard how uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. I know. Makes you wonder what we're going to find down there. Spooky stuff. Dr. Bryson classified Leviathan as a Reaper killer. It appears it doesn't wish to be found. Yeah, and he's mad at me. He doesn't have a choice. We're here. Mm-hmm. Right. But then what? It plays pretty rough, and if it is a Reaper, I don't know that's the kind of help we want. I know, but it's better to try and team up with him than to have him as an enemy as well. Even though he really doesn't like me. Because I am the one who apparently brought the Reapers to him on his thrill, and he doesn't like that. He's kind of upset with me about that. I mean, I kind of get it. I don't want Reapers on my tail either, but... I mean, it's just... It's just... You know, I like to stand out. <laughs> okay, let's see. We're not making friends. It's the cost of winning. I just want to see what's up. Nobody says we have to be friends with it, but if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Am I? It's here. There's nothing but ocean. What? We show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Nah! Underwater. Nah! It looks that way. Ah! The shuttle should still be able to reach it. I am terrified of the ocean, Cortez. Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres. But I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. I mean, I, 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 oh god! Oh no no no, no Steve. Steve! Steve! You got this! Garrus, watch out. Edie, are you okay? Oh, okay, Steve, 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 okay, relax! Good job. Good landing. Firm, but a good landing. Are you okay? Everyone alright? Interesting. So we're going underneath the water? Okay, that's not terrifying. That's fine. Yeah, is everybody all right? Give me a second. I got that. I was saying, I do love the water, but the shallows are perfectly fine for me. It's the deep, deep, unknowing depths that freak me the hell out. Yeah, I'm fine. Not our best entrance, Shepard. Ah, uh, but it could be worse. Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Okay. Copy that. We'll look around. It would seem others have been stranded here as well. We aren't the first to encounter that pulse. Interesting. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. What's this? Hmm. Data. <laughs> I just glitched into a brunette. Did you see that? Oh, there you go again. It's probably the shadows. <laughs> I'm a brunette now. Oh, and I'm blonde. Oh, nope, nope, nope. She likes to be brunette. Okay, but that's an artifact. Jeff, got one of the artifacts. Explains why no one gets out of here. This? Looks like a damaged atlas. Different though, and it's not flying Cerberus colors. Uh huh. And it's not taking shots at us, which, which is, is great. Nice. Doesn't look salvageable though. 
What's this? Yo, what's this? Holy crap, it's the artifact! Okay, I, I gotta destroy it. Fuck off. What's this? Data padlock, Atom Brooks. The hole will hold, that's what they say. Whatever god watches over Ezo prospectors came through for us. Despite a hell of a smack in the water landing, the MSV Morna Mornark displaces enough air to stay afloat. We're all thankful to be alive. Captain Pratt even ordered the champagne broken out. Helps perspective, I guess. The big puzzle? What drowned us in the first place? Tushan says it wasn't lightning. It was some kind of pulse, the one we encountered to. A directed energy weapon seems likely. But where would it have come from? There is no radio traffic. The whole bloody ocean is silent. Well, don't whales underneath? I mean, I think I read about this. I'm not sure if I'm correct. Please correct me in the comments if I am wrong. But don't whales use pulses throughout the water to communicate with other whales and other creatures. Maybe it's something to have to do with that and Leviathan is actually putting out that pulse. But it's just so strong that a lot of people are shipwrecked here. Well, not shipwrecked, but you get what I mean. Tonight the techs are going to try rerouting the power to get a good mass drop before getting the thruster firing. If all goes well, we'll be in airborne in 24 hours. Well, didn't seem to be like that. It seems to be like that. Any idea how old these are? The bones are untouched by scavengers. If they rotted clean from humidity and exposure, it might take more than a year. Jesus. Oh, that's... Ooh. Great! Fucking great. Okay, there's more there, I think. Ah, oh, we can go there if you Look, want. up there. Ah! Company, Shepard. Must have been right behind it. Oh! Check the shuttle! Holy shit! I was just looting! God damn! Oh no! Okay, medic gel, all right. What's this? Samples! Okay, let's see what we got. What we got? Okay, there's a lot of you there, which I don't really like, so we're gonna flare you! Who's out? Okay, you are blocked. Alright, who else? Somebody needs my help here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, get down. Yeah, I know. Okay, can you maybe get down? Thanks. Alright, good. I'm gonna flame you. Oh my god. What do I hear? Okay! Okay! That's cool! Fucking cool! Jesus! Anyone? Anyone? Okay, there's one there. Hmm. Don't see him. Okay, he's right underneath me. I don't have time for you. I'm gonna. I said I'm gonna! Alright, guess we're not! Thank you! Jesus! He's out. There's one there. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, another one. Another. Okay, I didn't want to do that. That's fine. Grab that. Uh oh, somebody's behind me. Hmm. I don't really see them. Oh, would you look at that? Okay, Edie, it's a brute. Be careful. Oh, there's multiple! Alright, I'm gonna go around it. Hey, fellas! How you doing? This might be a mistake! That's fine! Alright. Uh, yeah. Throw a landmine. Oh my god, Jesus. Ooh, okay. That's good. Do that. Uh oh. It was behind me, shooting me. Okay. This might be bad. Uh huh. Let me just do this. It's 
Excuse me, mister. Anyone else? Oh my god, there's so many. Jesus, mate. Get off, Edie! Idiot. Thank you, Garrus. You okay, Edie? Okay, how many are there gonna come? Because Jolo. Anyone? Can I get up somewhere? Because that would be amazing. Alright, fuck. Oh my god. What? Oh! Cortez is in trouble! Get to him! Get away! Jesus! Cortez! Steve! Steve! Get away from him! Swear to God! You die! That's how you die. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that. While you are gonna do this. Somebody behind me. No. Ha. Huh. Okay? Alright, fuck. You know what? How about you fucking fly? <laughs> God damn. Ah! Okay, wow, Garrus, that was great. Great, great, great. Cortez? Cortez? I mean, I'm not gonna lose out on loot okay, here. Clear. Oh, are you okay? Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. Fuck. That's what happened to what the others. To Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. That's no good. I say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. We gotta disable it. Oh! Jesus, it's gonna be happening. Ah! Whoa! Edie, I thought it would be Garrus. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. Let's go! How, how would that work? A diving mech? Wait, it's diving? Military grade, repurposed for Triton model? As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. Oh, I hate it! I don't want to do that. Oh, fine. Well, if that's what we have to do, let's get started. Oh, I hate that. I hate it. Perhaps you are unaware of the degree of risk. Our mysterious I am completely aware. We need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? I guess we are. <laughs> These old Ballard class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Oh, Cortez. Find somewhere to plug that in. All right. Oh, come on. I always get to do it. <laughs> always. Why am I a brunette again? <laughs> I'm not a brunette. I am not made to be a brunette. I am sorry. Okay, uh, yeah, I got a power cell there. Okay, let me just grab that first. Thank you, I'm sorry. Let you wait there. Oh, come on, you gotta be shitty. Goodbye! Goodbye. Alright, there's a power socket. Whoop. Come on, then! Okay. Another power cell for you, Commander. Never a dull moment. Grab another mm. cell, Shepard. We'll hold them all. Thank you. Oh my god, there's a brute there. Ooh, you sure we'll be able to hold that one off? Because holy fuck! Oh, I gotta hurry. Thank you. Yep, I gotta hurry. Fuck. Shit! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Ah! Get out! Sheppy! Why can't you do that? You were fu okay. Fuck me. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Then we'll do this one again. Go! 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 Okay, we're sixty-six. Gotta go back and grab another power cell. Thank you. Gracias. Oh, 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 fuck, man. All right, let's go. Oh shit! Who's out? Come on, yes! Where do I go now? Cargo doors are opening, Commander. The mech is all yours. 
Ooh, let's go! Let's go! Use it! I say use it! Jesus! Woo! Let's get in! Let's get in, people! Oh my god. Get out the way! Stay away from my boyfriend! Woo! Excuse me! Why doesn't L2 really work? Oh, there you go. There you go. That's what I wanted. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, you know what? You want a missile? You get a missile. Okay, can you fucking die? Jesus. You can't Oh, Garrus, no! Was that Garrus? No, that's Edie. Edie? I don't even know where to go. I mean, what the fuck? What's happening? Okay. Well, Edie is dead. <laughs> get in the water before they come back. Oh my god. Roger that. Walk the mech back to me when you're ready to dive. I should check it over first. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna check if there's anything left. Let me. Is Edie with me? Yeah, she's with me. Yep. There you go. I I wanna. Because I didn't really have the chance to loot properly, which I'm gonna do first before they come back now. There's another artifact there. Not cool! Get out of here. Oh, and not so many artifacts. Holy fuck. Get out of here. What's this? There you go. Any more artifacts hidden in between the crooks and crannies here? Because I don't appreciate. I know I gotta hurry this along, but we're not going to. <laughs> What's this? Okay, thank you. Let me go check back there. You gotta look slower, Kimberly. <laughs> Okay, that's just ammo. Yep, we've been there. Making sure, guys. Nope, that's nothing. What's this? That's another artifact hidden away. Let me grab that. Or destroy it. See, that's what I mean. Data patch. Hey, Chen Kushan. Attempts to get airborne has failed every time. The damage done by the pulses, if you could call it damage, doesn't make physical sense. The connections aren't fried, but the monarch's thrusters disengage. The distress beacon is likewise dead, but most of our electronics are still functioning. It doesn't seem to be a result of shielding. Without a distress beacon, we've got no chance. I hear bad things about ration supplies, and I think that's why the captain ordered us to collect rainwater and set up tents on the deck. It keeps us busy. Brooks has been talking about using the Triton's weapons to try blast fishing. <laughs> okay, I agree, but I haven't seen anything that looks like fish! I wish I were an optimist. Oh man... Even scarier things are out there than simply fish. That's why there's no fish! What's this? Another data patch. Okay, Dr. Chai Lin. The rations will hold us two days more. Brooks sent a drone to the bottom and it came up with bioluminescent plant life. None of it is edible. I warned the crew not to eat it before my tests were done. But Romero and Mullins tried anyway. They haven't stopped vomiting, which is really bad in a situation like this. And their dehydration wastes fresh water. Exactly. You don't want to vomit in a situation like that. We sent Kershaw's team on a raft over to the wrecks. They came back with spears. Oh no! Some kind of organic-based alien technology. And nothing to eat. I want to believe they'll give us some answers. But if they helped the other ships figure out what happened, they wouldn't be here. Now would they? It's getting cold. Fuck, that's sad. We all know what happened there. Okay, thanks. Oh my god, look how many! Captain Abel Pratt! 
Remus is our first death. He tried to throw one of the spears overboard, and something happened. Kashan and maybe three or four others started beating him like madmen. I wish I was quick enough to save him. They showed no remorse, not even comprehension. It's clear I am no longer in control. I held a funeral to keep order. The crew would have been at his body like wild dogs. We compromised. He will be fettered in the water to attract scavenging animals that we will catch for food. If he doesn't get a bite within three of this planet's days, we cut him loose as a water burial. We sealed the Tritons off. They're dangerous, especially given the crew's mental state. My kingdom for a shark. Holy crap. How desperate do you have to be in that situation? Holy shit. It's terrifying when you see your crew lose control. Essentially become freaking feral. <laughs> and you're just there with your mind still intact. And you're like, oh my god. Oh my god, how am I gonna make it through this? How am I gonna get my crew through this? It's like... I don't wanna think of it. Stars charts, okay. Anything else? I would have missed out on so many things if I didn't go back. Alright, I'm thinking we're kinda good, so I'm gonna go to Cortez with the Triton boy and dive under the sea. Under the sea. Take it from me! Woo! Alright, Cortez, I'm ready to rumble. Well, you guys get? Sorry you died like 12 times, Edie. <laughs> You die rather quickly. Okay, um, use. Okay, I guess we gotta move around it. Can I use it now? Okay, I guess we can't do that. Hello, please. Commander, I need that back over your chair. Listen, bro, I'm trying. <laughs> I just can't seem to get it anymore. Okay, um, Cortez, um, we might be stumbling into a little bit of an issue because I can't, I can't seem to get in there. Yeah, fuck. I, what? Oh no, is it glitching? I can't use it. Fuck. Okay, can I get up here? No, I can't even do oh, Come on, use it! Oh, Stop, I'm trying! You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yo, I, I would like to get in. Why can't I get in? Why is it glitching? Oh, come on, I just got all of this. Are you serious? Okay, ah, fuck. Oh, come on! I'm right here! Oh, you gotta be shitting! Why did it glitch? So I gathered pretty much everything. Please let me use it. Oh, thank you. I really didn't want to do that again. Like three times. Jesus. All right, please, Garrus, move. Baby, baby, baby. Jesus. <laughs> Don't fuck with me right now. Okay, well, Cortez, here I am. Can, I, can, I, can we get a little bit closer? Thank you. All right, here I am. Fuck. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. You do that. Listen, check. I'm all for crazy ideas, but this one's off the. Track. Are you worried? We come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals, check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Okay. I like that Cortez takes the lead here a little bit. He has a little bit of a time to shine. Appreciate it. I am ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. But Shepard. Oh. I'll be fine. Closing hatch. If anyone ever hurts you, engaging systems. He's worried. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. But Shepard. Ah, oh, Garrus. I love the romance. 
Woo, let's go! Oh god, this is freaking terrifying, but I promised Garrison that I'll be back and I can't break that man's heart, so I have to. How deep am I gonna go? Nah. Looks good so far. Let's hope. Copy that. Oh, it's probably the pulsing, maybe. Cortez? Leviathan. Cortez! Oh, that's gonna terrify Garrus. Oh, this is gonna terrify me! Where do I go? Can I move? Yo, no. This is absolutely fucking terrifying. If a Megalodon is gonna show up, I'm gonna cry. What the fuck? Oh, so many shivers. No! Oh, I hate it here! I, I still have to go back up, though! Woo! Okay! Well, we reached the bottom! Rock bottom! Oh. Shepard, you are made of sturdy stuff. Let me just say that. What a woman. Okay, we gotta Did you locate. Think you me up there? Looks like I've finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. Can I go there? Oh, we go here. The scanner indicates the probe is below my position. Go for a way down. Ooh. This is kind of cool. Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Uh huh. You do that. Use the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Nope. Can't worry about that now. Well, I'm worried about that now. Oh my god. I mean, I kind of have to go through this. Some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down. Because if I don't, we're all doomed. So let's go. Only one way. I kind of like that they implemented all of these different gaming strategies now. It, it's cool. Reading the probe directly below me. Oh, looks like the final drop. Oh, here we go. Oh, what the? That's a big drop. Oh man, I'm worried. I'm not gonna make it back. Oh, look at the depth. Just yet. What if I can't make it back to the surface? Look at that, I'm worried. I would hate this. God, I what's that? <coughs> Wait a minute, is that the transmitter? That what's creating the pulses? Um, probe. Seems intact. Let me check. I'm gonna keep moving. Find Leviathan! <gasps> Can I destroy this? Get I? <laughs> okay, let's just go because my my pressure. Ooh. What is that? What is what? What is this? Mind. I had to find you. This is not your domain. You have breached the darkness. I embraced it. You killed a Reaper. I need to know why. They are the enemy. One that seeks our extermination. Your still. But I thought you were a Reaper. Yeah. They are only echoes. We existed long. What? Then what are you? Something more. What? What does that mean? Something more. So there was an even bigger powerful force than the Reapers? An older force? Your mind belongs to me. 
You can have it. Anne? What's happening? My mind is all f fucked up already, so... <laughs> All right. Accept this. What the fuck is going on? I'm worried if I go with I don't understand, then he's gonna f pull me further into his little mind game. So I kind of want to go with we're wasting time to take control, but I am so curious about it. So, okay. The galaxy's at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? Yeah. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Stop repeating yourself. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat. Mm -hmm. And I must understand why. Oh, caught your interest, huh? Holy crap. Oh. So it cycles our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. Like the Protheans, little. But they were caring. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not fall from a dead race. What? To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. Which was? In that instant, it betrayed us. Harvest? It chose our kind as the first harvest. <gasps> From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it Harbinger. What? <laughs> Wait! So they were the first harvest. They were the first cycle. Maybe that is why... It Wow! <laughs> Maybe it explains why the Reapers look so much like Leviathan. Because they were based on the species like Leviathan. That's why there's just so many similarities. But they betrayed the Leviathan species by with the first harvest, the cycle. The Reapers were created to to to, to observe all of the the site. No, God, the Reapers were created to observe all life in the galaxy. It studied, it studied, but then it came to its own conclusion, like, we're gonna harvest all of them. That's fine. But he's the only one left. He's the only one left. And he also said all of the other species were like a little bit in service to all of these apex predators like Leviathan. But then he mentioned that they were cared for, but that we couldn't protect them from themselves. How does that work? Okay. Um. Uh, Jesus. Okay. First harvest. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information, physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. Holy fuck. It also kind of reminds me of the Quarians and the Geth because the Geth were created by the Quarians like the Reapers were created by this Leviathan species and then they turned against them. And of course there's a little bit more nuance with the Quarians and the Geth because the Quarians were the ones who actually struck up arms first and here apparently the Reapers were the one that betrayed Leviathan or his species. So there's a little bit of discourse there, but it seems rather similar. And it's also a warning maybe for the Quarians and the Geth. Intelligence. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot 
conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. Oh. We were above the concerns of lesser species. So like the Protheans. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for you. Uh huh. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. What the hell? <sighs> because in their cycle, they were the ones. They were the al the alpha predator, I suppose. And in another cycle, it was the Protheans. But they were the ones who actually created the Reapers. <sighs> Jesus. How did you remain hidden all this time? Yeah. Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled. Removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments we. and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts? Uh-huh. They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. We, so there's multiple. There's multiple left. I'm just, my mind is like, I don't even know where to start with all of this. But I don't think he'll team up with us because he still believes that the Reapers are proving their worth in somehow. What? Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Uh-huh. Our image. Uh-huh. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. What the fuck? Why cycles, though? Why does it? Why is it a never-ending cycle? Each time, new species rise up, only to be utterly destroyed when another harvest is upon us, and it just goes on and on and on. Why? But what's the point of all these harvests? Yeah. The intelligence has one purpose: preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. But but you're killing. It directed the reapers to create the mass relays. To speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency, the galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution, it's true. What will it ever end? Unknown. Ah! Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. Why? Why? The preservance of life? The intelligence, aka the Reapers, haven't found what they're looking for, but meanwhile they're harvesting more and more lives. I. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. We're close. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Then tell me what will be enough. What? The cycle will continue. No. You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. You said it yourself. You will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. What? The Reapers will harvest the rest. I'm not staying here with you. Release me. No one has to be harvested. I'm not gonna be your slave puppet, ma'am, 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 ma um, they harvest Apex Predator. I know a pretty and all that, but that's not gonna happen. I already have a mate. <laughs> this is not what he means. It's fine. It already has. Nothing will change. That's your fault. You haven't been trying to take fucking responsibility for your freaking disaster intelligence. It already has. 
You know what? I'm gonna call him out. I kind of want to go all inspirational. It already has because look what we have done. We have stopped the collectors. We have stopped the sovereign, and now we will stop the reapers. But fuck you! Fuck you! You're responsible for this. Every race that's ever been destroyed is because of you. And now the reapers will destroy you too, unless you start fighting. Even if you survive the battle today, the reapers won't stop, ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. Take some goddamn responsibility! Really? Chap. Oh, you gonna go up? You taking responsibility for your actions? You got Oh, there's multiples! There's multiples! <gasps> your confidence is singular. I've earned it. Out there fighting where you should Hell be. yeah! It's clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. Exacto mundo. You will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. So don't cower in the and shadows. Those who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Today, they pay their tribute. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's all cool and all, but only on this world? Not- you're not gonna go and help the galaxy, baby? No? Better chances, just saying! Okay, I need to get the hell back to the surface. Well, at least I'm not a puppet. At least I'm not a slave for the- for the fucking Leviathans. Oh my god, my mind is blown. What the hell was that? got so many information about the origin of the Reapers. I don't understand all of it yet, but fuck. What are they looking for? When will the cycles end? What are they looking for? You know what? It's gonna end now. Because... Oh. Hey! Ooh! Ooh! Fuck! Fuck! Oh no, oh no, Shep, Shep! No, no! Oh, it's protecting me? Oh, holy shit! Yes! <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here! Oh, Garrus, please! Oh, I love that he came to my rescue. Hell yeah. Oh, Edie, let's go, babe. Let's go. Oh! Oh, oh he's so sweet! He's so worried! I love it. He's so concerned. Best boyfriend ever. Oh! Let's see, Leviathan! Oh, let's see that you're made of the sturdy stuff! I love Garrus. Best boyfriend ever. Are you okay? You okay? <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Hell of a hell. Oh, me too! Never do that again. Okay. I've got Anne Bryson on the comp. Good. <sighs> Garrus, man. What the fuck? Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Anne. I don't even know. We found Leviathan. Yeah, we sure did. Was it worth it? <laughs> I 
it's I don't know. I I I don't know. Um, yeah, yes, no, I don't know. I mean, I know that Garrus really loves me, so that <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just I love that I continue to focus on Garrus instead of what actually happened down there. <laughs> oh, and the revelations. Oh my god. But can we talk about Garrus? <laughs> How worried is he? Never do that again. Okay, way to melt a woman in her freaking armchair. Jesus Christ. Okay, anyway, was it worth it? It's really hard to say they are going to defend themselves or at least fight on this planet. But I feel like they could have given us a little bit more. Maybe because it's part of the DLC that they won't come and help us. But I feel like, oh man, it's such a waste to leave them on this planet. It's hard to say. I don't know. We proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. Tell me about Maybe it. The history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Okay. Take care, Anne. And thanks for all your help. Shepard out. <sighs> Shepard needs a nap. Big, big nap. Hopefully with Garrus beside her, because... I really love that the DLC gave so many Garrus moments. There were a lot of them. You could really see his worry and his love shine through. That, that was maybe the best part. Commander, I finished reading your report. Oh, really, did ya? The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we it's got It's old. It. They're Our old. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. Right. It rewrites galactic history as we know That's it. so interesting. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. Mm -hmm. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. A full circle. Get it? <laughs> That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. Sure. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you. I Thank you, sir. really want a nap now. Pack it out. Pack it out. It's... Okay, I'm so gonna read that later because I'm super fucking intrigued, but I need to do one thing first. Yeah, okay, great. I'm gonna check out the war assets. I'm sorry, I'm beelining to somewhere most important. Yep, yep, you can't stop me. Get out the way. This is very important. Get out the way! Jesus, I don't have time for this! Fuck off! I need to do this! There's only one thing on my freaking mind right now. That I need to do. <laughs> Get out! I, I can't even salute you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to do this. <laughs> it's the only thing that fucking matters right now. Garrus. Shepard, I looked over your mission report. Gotta say, it feels like we've been after these Reapers forever. I know. From Sovereign to Leviathan, they've been a pain in the ass the whole time. But at least we're starting to see the big picture. Never really thought we'd get any answers. Doesn't change much. But it does make this war feel a whole lot bigger. Yeah. I'm so happy. I think he really loves me. And I'm really happy about that. No! Oh! Not right. That's fine. You gave me so many moments. I'm still melting. Holy crap. I'm a nervous wreck when you do stuff like that. Never do that again. If anybody hurts you. Oh my god. I can't take that. Best romance ever. Holy fuck moly. She's freezing. Ah! Ah! Where's... I don't have a pillow. I don't have a pillow. I'm, ah. I'm okay. Oh my god. I'm fine. I'm just... I'm just give, me, give me a lot of moments, okay? I'm just processing everything. And it's not about the Reapers. Okay, okay. Excuse moi. I was I was very far away for a moment. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave the episode here. If you did enjoy this amazing DLC, I really thoroughly enjoyed this DLC because there's so many answers. I'm going to read the codex probably in the next episode because I really want to find out more because what the hell did I just witness? There's just so many revelations that I just can't wrap my head around quite yet, but it's so freaking intriguing. And how old are these Reapers? How many cycles have there been? It's insanity. 
If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already for some reason, and guess I will see you in the very next episode. See ya!